Hey, Sean Chandler here with my daily thoughts on the daily movie news. The big thing of the day is that WB has announced that they are moving forward with a Green Lantern Corps movie. So, before I even get started on my thoughts and opinions and the specifics on it, what are your thoughts on them rebooting, redoing Green Lantern so soon? Did you hate the previous one as much as everybody else? So, with that said, they say they're doing a Green Lantern Corps movie, and it's going to have both Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. So that's part number one of all this, is that it's a Green Lantern Corps movie with two of our favorite Green Lanterns. Second part is they say it's going to be like Lethal Weapon in Space. So, buddy cop movie with a humorous side to it, but a serious drama action side to it as well. So that's number two in all of this. The third thing is they said that the writers are David Goyer and Justin Rhodes. So, of course, David Goyer is pretty famous in the screenwriting world, especially when it comes to comic book movie adaptations. Justin Rhodes is someone I've never heard of before. I just looked up his IMDb page and he hasn't done anything. So let's walk through each one of these three things. The first thing is that they're doing a Green Lantern core movie with two Green Lanterns. I think it's a great idea. Uh, of course, Green Lantern's one of the classic members of the Justice League. Very famous, classic DC comic book character. The previous movie they did didn't work, but it's not the first time a comic book movie hasn't worked right on the first go-round. So the idea that they're rebooting it, relaunching it, doesn't kind of phase me at all. I mean, I just assumed they were going to do that. If anything, it's taken them longer to announce this than I was anticipating it would. But I, I just think, like, it's pretty obvious move that they're going to do Green Lantern, and I think doing two of these guys, I think that's a good direction to go to give it a different spin, and right out of the gate, you give it a different vibe by giving it that, as we get into part number two, that lethal weapon buddy cop vibe. I, I, have we gotten that comic book movie right out of the gate for a franchise before? I don't think so. Not, not one that's coming immediately to mind. If I'm missing one, tell me in the comment section one where they had two guys straight out of the gate as launching the franchise. So I think that's a great move, and I think it gives it... Uh, Green Lantern isn't Batman. Green Lantern isn't Superman, Spider-Man. One of these kind of A-list, easy to bring to the screen with a built-in gigantic fan base. And that's, doesn't, that's not a deal-breaker at all. Currently in the modern era where Guardians of the Galaxy launches, Hughes, Iron Man wasn't an A-lister until that movie came out and was so good. So, But at the same time, it's... The history of Green Lantern is a little bit more wishy-washy because of the previous film to the broad audience that did not go all that well. So the idea that they'd want to do something, change up the formula, put a new element with the buddy cop side to it, I think that's a really good move. And, uh, I mean, Lethal Weapon's not a bad <laughs> If you're going to do Lethal Weapon in space, that just sounds kind of cool to me. So I'm all on board with that. That brings us to the third one where uh, I'm not really sure where I land on the idea of getting David Goyer and Justin Rhodes to write it. So, Justin Rhodes, I have no idea who he is. I don't recognize anything on his IMDb page, which is to say he's a new up-and-coming writer that uh, doesn't really have a strong history that to look at for what he's done. It seems like he's kind of a guy that's pitched something well. They've seen, liked some of his writing, so they think he's got a chance of doing something really good. But he hasn't proved it by writing something that's been turned into a great movie. Based off what I looked at. Tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong. Now that leads us to David Goyer, who is kind of a legend when it comes to writing screenplays for comic book movies. But he's also hit or miss when it comes to doing that. So he did Blade 1. Great. I love that movie. Blade 2. Really good. Blade 3. Not good. Now there's some backstory on why that is, but at the same time, not so great. Worked heavily on Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Now, he didn't necessarily write all of those, but he was heavily involved in the story process. So, at least two of those, pretty generally widely regarded as great. The third one, mixed bag from people, but not necessarily because of what you would call David Goyer's involvement in it, maybe some of the ambitions of the Nolan brothers. Then that leads us to Man of Steel, which that was kind of his baby, his pitch, his deal, and so if you like it, you love it, uh, it all really does find, kind of fall on his shoulders, um, the pitch of it at least, because he wrote the script for that and all the weirdness of it, that kind of goes to him. I mean, you can blame Snyder for Snyder's directing style, but the story is kind of more where people had issues with the direction that it went. 
And here's my issue with David Goyer. It's not. I, I think I would be very much Team Goyer if he's writing a movie like this. I think he's going to do a good job. Uh, or excuse me, if he can write a comic book movie, he's going to do a good job. If you watch these special features for uh, Blade, on it he talks about how he th feels feels that he's strong with the structure side of stories, and I would agree with him on that. But he would also say he's not strong with the dialogue side of it, and that leads to the part where I get concerned with this: is David Goyer hasn't written the funny comic book movie. He's not the funny guy. He's not the guy known for writing that type of fun sort of movie. When I think Lethal Weapon, I think very much there is a serious drama, the action, but then there's the comedy and the fun side to it. And he's not the guy that's done that. Now, maybe Justin Rhodes is the guy that's going to make that happen. And that's kind of what he's awesome at. And you bring in David Goyer with the structure side to it. And then Justin Rhodes writes the hilarious dialogue. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. That's my fear in them saying they're bringing in David Goyer to do this. Second fear with David Goyer is that he's become the guy that they just go to. WB went to him for Batman, and then when he proposed something for Superman, they made it happen. And now, Green Lantern, they're like, oh, you've got an idea. Let's run with it. And it feels like they're just going to their go-to guy rather than having a great idea. That's kind of what it feels like when suddenly David Goyer's name's in the mix again. David Goyer's name always would have been on their WB's list when it came to people to potentially write or do something with this. So I, I'm sure eventually there'll be some story about how he was writing one of another one of his TV shows or other projects, and in the middle of it, he took a week off and just came up with an idea and called up some producer buddy of his. I'm sure eventually there'll be some story like that of where it came from. But those are my reservations. Those are some of my thoughts on it. Um, in general, I think it's 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 stuff to be excited about. I think it's good news. He's a guy that brings a clear story, a singular. He has enough clout to get his singular idea put on paper. And even kind of with Batman v Superman, he was the original writer, and it seems like trouble started as soon as it was no longer him writing the script to it. That it was then Chris Terry was writing it, and then we want to work in Justice League. And we want to. As soon as there were more cooks in the kitchen, where trouble came in. So that's my take on it. How about you? Tell me, what are your thoughts on Green Lantern core movie and David Goyer making a Green Lantern movie that's a lethal weapon in space? What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I don't want to just talk about Green Lantern. I want to talk about him with you. If you're new to my channel and you've never clicked that subscribe button, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Normally, I don't shoot right here in this classroom, and I normally have a mic so I sound better. But as it is, if you're new to my channel, Thank you for sticking through this whole video with lower production values than I normally have. And as always, thank you so much for watching.